Thank you for joining us today for a special presentation on CancerVax, a better way to treat cancer. I'm one of your hosts, Ryan Davies, the CEO of the company, and I'm joined by my colleague, Byron Elton, who's our chief marketing officer. And we're here to give you some exciting updates. Byron, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, Ryan, and, and thanks for having me. I'm so delighted to be a part of this conversation. I don't know that there's ever been a more exciting time to talk about cancer in general and better ways to treat it. If we take a look at the trends right now, they're pretty unsettling, Byron. By 2040, there, it's estimated there'll be another 29, maybe as much as 30 million new cancer cases worldwide. And this is something that hits home to you. It hits home to me, but for a very different way. Byron, you're a cancer survivor. Tell us about that. I had uh, prostate cancer and uh, went through the traditional treatments. As you know, there's three, as you've already mentioned. It's typically surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation, all of which can be incredibly debilitating, painful, and unsettling. And I went through two of the three of those. I, I had a surgery and the radiation, both of which were no fun whatsoever. And I think maybe the hardest part on, on myself and my family was just the not knowing. You yeah. know, they, they've come a long way in this technology, but there was all those waiting times where you know, you're waiting for the test results and had the cancer spread. And if it had spread, what that conversation was going to be like. And man, it was hard on the family. I should tell you about a recent experience I had. We were fortunate as a company, CancerVax, to uh, be a sponsor of a, a run to raise money for research, specifically for breast cancer. I was there with my wife, and there were literally thousands of people uh, attending, both participating and uh, supporting. And it was amazing to me and not surprising. Literally everybody I talked to had a cancer story. And uh, when I told them about CancerVax, about our collaboration with uh, UCLA, and some of the exciting things that we've been coming up with, they were so excited and saying, man, I wish that was around when I had my cancer or my wife had her cancer. It's one of the reasons that I'm so excited to be involved with you and all the good people at CancerVax and, of course, our friends at UCLA. Yeah, thanks, Byron. I mean, it, it is personal. You know, I know it's personal to you and your family with what you went through. A grandfather and a grandmother on my side died from cancer. My father has had cancer. My father-in-law has had cancer. My uh, Two of my uncles and one of my aunts all have, have had cancer. And so it's very, very personal to me also. It, it's amazing because when you have the numbers, the number of people who contract cancer in their lifetime is staggering. So it's personal to a lot of other people around the world as well. And you know, it's important when the White House starts to get involved and encourage and look for incentives for companies like CancerVax to accelerate their R&D and get newer treatments into the market. One of the things, Byron, you touched on a little bit that makes me so excited about what we're doing is because we can, first of all, we wanted to uh, partner with one of the very, very best institutions around. We're so, so lucky to be working with UCLA, a uh, team of MDs and PhD. These are uh, folks that spend part of their time in the lab doing hardcore research. And then their other part, they're actually in the clinic treating patients with cancer. These are the people who are working on developing this better way to treat cancer that CancerVax is working on. We meet with them down at UCLA on a monthly basis. Yeah. It's been amazing to me to just feel the, the vibe in that room and to see how committed these incredible people are. I described it one time as an Oppenheimer moment yeah. where the best minds in the world got together to solve a problem. That's what it felt like to me. And yeah. to see their passion for this and not only that, but to see literally on a monthly basis, progress that they've made yeah. and how excited they are about it. That's what gets me really revved up for all this whole thing. CancerVax in particular, we've been doing a, a Reg A offering, which is how we've been receiving investment dollars because it's expensive. It is just expensive to make drugs, uh, new drugs like this. You can find more information on our website, cancervax.com. Byron, you were just mentioning the progress that continues to happen on our technology. We have uh, three pipelines right now. The first one, we're trying to treat a deadly cancer called Ewing sarcoma or kids cancer. It's a bone disease, really, a bone and soft tissue. And the mortality rate is very, very high. 
if you are a child and can track Ewing sarcoma and are successfully treated, and then there's a recurrence where that particular cancer returns, the mortality rate is 100%. It's a very deadly, deadly disease. Our second pipeline is we are working on a universal cancer vaccine platform. We look at this as uh, someday being as easy as receiving a flu shot. The target will be multiple different types of cancers. Our third platform is what we call our universal CAR T cell platform. This is a, another really powerful tool that makes CAR, CAR T cell treatments more accessible, hopefully more effective, and definitely less expensive than they cur currently are. It's not uncommon for one treatment, one CAR T cell treatment to cost around a half a million dollars today. We just don't think that's right. We're working hard to make some big changes there. Well, one thing that you mentioned, Ryan, I'd like to just emphasize here, and that is just how expensive this is. The research and all of the efforts that are going on worldwide take a lot of resources, not only great minds, but great resources. The Reg A offering that you were talking about, we're working with a company called Start Engine. And one of the things I love about this platform is I talk to people, literally everyone you talk to has an experience either personally or with a family member or a friend with cancer. And many times watching this just terrible situation that happens to them and their families. And when they find out that there are great strides being made to find better ways to treat cancer beyond the three traditional ones, the first reaction is, how can I help? How can yeah. I get involved? And the great thing about Start Engine, of course, is that people can get, get involved investing in something that they really care about for as little as $500. So that's been a great way to get a lot of people involved, in addition to all the other uh, efforts that we have going. Maybe we could talk a little bit about the uh, Start Engine and the, and the uh, existing offer that we have that's coming to a close pretty soon. Uh, we've been raising money, as Byron said, through uh, this Reg A offering on the Start Engine platform. That current offering is coming to a close on November 7th of this year. We're getting very close. It's been great because when we announced the, the closing of our offering, the enthusiasm from the investment community really spiked. We've started to see quite a bit of money come in, and that's been important for us because every dollar that we spend, again, is channeled to UCLA for research and development on these three exciting drug platforms that we talked about. Byron and I would encourage you to check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, we're on LinkedIn. You'll see updates, you'll see short little video vignettes that uh, Byron and I do to help you understand more about the offering, but also uh, more about the company as well. Well, there's never been a better time for literally everyone to get involved in this. Uh, an important date, November 7th, that's when this uh, current offering ends. To learn more, as Ryan said, um, in addition to all the things that you've seen and the buzz that's been created around this on social media, uh, go to cancervax.com and uh, you'll find a wealth of information about all the work that's been done, the work that we're continuing to do with uh, UCLA. And uh, again, I can't emphasize it enough. What gets me going the most is just how much progress has been made in a very short period of time. Yeah. And we can see this coming to a successful conclusion relatively in our lifetime. That's what's exciting about it. I don't think I've met anybody that, one, hasn't had a personal experience with it. Number two, that's anxious to help in whatever way they can. And this particular offering gives everybody an opportunity to get involved in a very positive way. Thanks, Byron. And I think in closing, I would just ask a simple question to everyone. Why should you invest in cancer vax? Good question. And, and to us, it's pretty simple. It's simple because we're working with UCLA, one of the very, very best research and cancer research institutions in the world. It's simple because we believe that we're part of a great future of cancer treatment. It's simple because our team is laser focused and we are working hard to develop new treatments that will empower the body's own immune system. So the immune system can actually do the work to kill and fight cancer. This just spells out super exciting to me. And the fact that all of us, as Byron said, $500 or more um, can be an investor and go on this journey with us. Those who invest before the offering closes November 7th, you can earn up to 30% extra shares. 
Now there's a ratio there and those shares are, the bonus shares kind of go up and down based on the size of your investment. But there's an opportunity to, to get a lot more shares based on your, your investment in the company. Well, now's the time. It's an exciting time. Uh, November 7th is the closeout of the existing offering. Uh, we couldn't be more excited about the progress that's been made by our friends at UCLA. And the future is now. Please visit us at uh, cancerbacks.com and invest with us for the future. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.